Hi everyone, welcome to BIM Parametrics. I'm Mohammed Shahrukh and in today's video for Revit Architecture, I'm going to teach you how to create a basic Revit family which is parametric in nature. Now what I mean for, uh, parametric in nature means a family whose dimensions can be governed or can be changed using with the help of parameters. Now to start with, let's suppose we have a project. Let me create a room and let's suppose okay let me just make it till height level number two I'll switch off the elevations and that's it and let me cre create some floors let's go to the 3d view all right so let's consider in this particular project I need some family which is kind of a box so let me show you the shape of the family so you can see it's going to be like a cube or a cuboid so we need to have a length a width and the height now to create this particular family we need to first of all decide uh, which category this family is going to be in so in my case I want to consider this family as a furniture family now to start with first of all I go to file new and then select family now you need to take care in which units you are working on in so if you are working in feet and inches you have to select your family from English Imperial in case you are working in metric then you need to go to English and then we can select you can see there are many families are there so I'm going to post a lot of videos for the family so in that videos I'm going to clear uh, which uh, template have to be used for what so for this uh, family uh, already we decided that it's going to be like a furniture so we select a metric furniture just click open now as we decided our the shape of our family will be kind of a cube or a cuboid so what we are going to do to create this particular uh, shape we are going to use extrude so this is the basic environment for Revit family so we are going to use extrusion now for the extrusion we need to create a basic shape so for this kind for the kind of uh, family we need okay it's obvious we need a rectangular or a square shape so I'm going to use a rectangle option from the sketch and you can draw it using two points so you will get a square now one thing to be noticed is this sketch is not symmetric so as you can see if I stretch it here okay it doesn't stretch to the other side so it's not constrained right now so what we need to do is we'll constrain it using one of the important command in Revit that is known as aligned so you just go to modify and select align dimension now just take care and remember this align dimension is used for multiple purpose which you will see right now so one way to, uh, right now I'm going to use this align dimension is to make this sketch as a symmetric sketch so for this you start with you select the left side select the middle select the right and you click here now you can see on the left hand side the dimension is 604 on the right hand side the dimension is 556 now to make it equal dimension we just click on this EQ and just click here now for the this is let's uh, consider this for the length side now I will need to create for the width so you just select in the same style first click second for the reference plane and third for the other edge and then again you can click on EQ and you make it equal now once the dimensions are or the sketch is symmetric you can try making some experiment here and you can see it is stretching to both the sides in an equal uh, way now next I need to add some dimension so that I can control this so to put the dimension then now again I'm going to use align dimension select the first uh, left edge then select the right edge and you just place it over here select the top and the bottom edge and you place it over here now one thing you are going to notice now is when I select it and I try to change that value for this particular dimension I can't do that so this is where the importance for parameters comes so now what we need to do is we need to convert this dimension into a parametric dimension Now to do that what we are going to do we select the 
our permanent dimension which we created with the align dimension you just select it and then you go for create parameter click on create parameter and then you can give it any name so you just give it like length l e n g t h length now right now i'm going to use this as a type parameter now what is the difference between type parameter and instance parameter i'm going to cover it this in the next video so just make it length and let's experiment this whether it is working just select click and you're good to go let's do the same thing for the width okay we already have the dimension so you just select the dimension click on create parameter and make it width and we keep it type parameter click ok and let's experiment this as well so if I make it let's consider 2000 okay there is some issue here okay, oh, okay. so we select the dimension itself and then we change it 2000 that's it alright so our both the parameters are working so let me just go and make it like a cube So this is our sketch so we can control our length and width of this our cube using these two parameters that is length parameter and the width parameter. Now to control the height we need to create another parameter that's or we call it, we can call it as a height parameter. So for that what we are going to do first of all we need to come out of this extrusion command. So let's click on finish and let's go to elevation view and click on let's make it front zoom to fit now you can see by default it uh, the extrusion is having 250 uh, mm now what I want to do I want to make this height again should be controlled as a with a parameter known as height parameter for that I'm going to create a reference plane so create a reference plane here and then use again align dimension to create the parametric dimension and carefully select the reference level on the bottom and then the reference plane which you have created here and then select the dimension and then again convert this into a parameter so we will name it as height parameter and then click OK now if you want to now you can see if I'm going to change the height of this parameter let's take it for example 1000 so only this reference plane is moving this extrusion height is still the same so what we need to do is we need to con we need to fix the height of this extrusion with the reference plane and lock it so for that what we can do is just select this arrow and take it till up and you lock now let's check it to make a clear visual I'll change the visual style to consistent color okay now let's select the height and then let's try okay let's make it 1005 or let's make it 800 bingo you're good to go so now what we have done we have created our three parameters that is length width and height so let's see our family in 3d mode so this is how our family looks like now let's check if I want to change my family with different dimensions so let's go here for family type and then you will see all the type parameters which we have created over here under the dimensions tab now let's suppose I want to make the height as uh, from 800 I want to make it as 1200 so let's go 1200 and then apply you can see it's changing let's make the length as 500 and width as 500 and apply again you see so this is how we created our family okay a basic family which is parametric in nature so let me make it currently this one as height length and width apply and it's like a cube make it zoom fit now I what I want is I want to load my family into the project so you click first you can save it so the box and save and load it into the project and you can just place it in your project you can go to 3d view let's make it realistic or consistent color so here is your parametric family now let's consider for example you want at any moment you want to change the dimension of all the components to maybe from 1000 
by 1000 to 1000 we'll we want to change it from 1500 so we just select edit type and let's make it 1500 to 1500 and then apply and then click OK now in case for example you want to change the dimension of only one component then what we can do is we can select this component we can edit type and we can duplicate this you can make it, name it as box 2 or whatever you like and then let's suppose this need to be 500 500 and this is 500 again and click OK and here you can see we have four components okay and as per the project requirement you can change the size of any specific components with different shapes so this is the advantage of uh, creating a parametric family you don't have to create a single f uh, uh, like you don't have to create a single component every time a new component to, uh, as per the dimension we can just have one component and we can add some parameters to it and then we can modify those parameters and we can use it in any project so I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe our channel and inshallah we will be posting more uh, videos on the families. So see you in my next video. Thank you very much.